really, but unfortunately the result wasn't quite what we were expecting. How, how would you sum it up? Yeah, no, it was um, bittersweet. It was uh, so close to a win and then uh, to have it sort of snatched away from you. Um, that's that kind of feeling. Yeah. Do you feel it was more defensive mistakes than Hashtag actually doing something to actually score? Or do you think it was more down to the way Hashtag were playing? Uh, well, I said to the boys after the game, it was us that lost it as opposed to Hashtag that won it. Um, kind of fell for the oldest trick in the book and all our players just got involved with uh, bickering and arguing and, and we just completely lost our focus. And then uh, they're still sort of trying to play that mental game and then play it while also playing the game and we're just focused on that arguing and fighting and it was just getting on on my nerves to be honest and then uh, the, the, up pops two soft goals really and uh, it's, it's turned the game for us. Do you put that down to individual mistakes do you think or do you put it down to the team losing focus as a whole? Yeah it's more of the team losing focus, um, we've worked on that um, week in week out in training how to see games out and, and how to start games, how to finish games and we're normally pretty strong at it but today just wasn't our day in front of goal today. Did anyone's performance please you and our team? Did, anyone's, did anyone do well in your eyes? Um, I think um, Big Mo made a big difference up the top until um, he got sort of caught up with the referee and got himself booked. He did seem to be something of a target at times yeah, for their, and, for and, their and players. It was, it, it sort of, we felt it a lot when he came off the pitch, but um, I think he got himself so wound up that if I didn't sub him off, he would have been sent off. So, oh, absolutely. Um, you know, it was a sub that I didn't want to make, but we get to keep him for another game and we can yeah. just sort of refocus and you know, calm him down for the next game. How do you resolve the problem though that it seems to be um, afflicting the team at the moment? Already you've conceded over 10 goals, you've scored 19, so clearly Cox United games are exciting to watch. <laughs> But how do you go about resolving that without losing your attacking your attacking prowess? Um, you know, it's it's um, it's a tricky one because you have a few options. You uh, try out different defensive strategies, patterns, personnel, and um, you keep looking for it until you find the right blend of players who don't want to concede goals. Um, I think it's, it's it's easy to sort of blame now and just say, you know, it's, it's this person's fault or that person's fault. It's a collective. Um, at at two one up, we didn't show as a team that we were going to sort of hold on to that two one. We didn't all back, you know, get back behind the ball and all of us camp in and just, you know, I still had five or six attacking, uh, breaking forward every yeah. time when we didn't really need to commit yeah. that many people forward into a counter-attack when you're winning. Yes. So as a collective, you know, the rest of the players should have sort of said to themselves, we don't need to go as far forward. Oh, absolutely. Which is what we spoke at at half-time. We don't need to go and score 100 goals to win this game. We just need to see it out. And um, yeah, we ended up conceding. I mean, what I found fascinating when you got back into the game and then took the lead is that at a certain point, number 11, had their number three on toast. Every single time, ball was just being played down, played at the angles, just picking him out, cutting out the number three completely. What do you think changed at half-time? Because it seemed like there was only going to be one winner going into half-time. Uh, that's what we're good at. Um, once, once our pacey players, our pacey wide players, uh, start getting more and more of the ball, they are hard to stop. And you know, it's up to us to keep feeding them with the ball. And uh, if we don't get the ball out to them, you know, we make our own life harder because someone else has got to try and make something happen when it's, it's what they're good at and they're probably the best in the league at it. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's, it's getting that balance right and trying to try different things to make sure that we're, we're, we're straight one end and we're competitive at the other end. So one final question, obviously we're leading into West Essex now in the Cup on Tuesday. Are there likely to be significant changes in your lineup, or would you be go going with these boys again on a slightly different strategy? Um, well, we, we had our captain missing today, um, and we could feel that at the end when uh, 
people were getting tired. Um, so he'll be one of the ones that will probably come back into the team other than that. Um, this is really is the bulk of our team, so maybe some of the subs will get a run out. Um, but we rotated the team on Thursday and we had a good result there, so I've got no issue with um, who plays. It's just that, um, you know, who deserves to play and who's on form and who's not on form. Really. But does it make you keen for the game after what happened tonight, or today, today even? Does it make you keen for the game to come around that much sooner? Because obviously, oh, yeah, yeah. training is yeah, not possible you know, to train Yeah, between. you don't have to sit there and mope about the result too much. You get to put it right. Yeah. And, you know, although we lost this game, it will feel uh, something of a, you know, not so bad of a defeat if you can go and win on the Tuesday and get yourself into the next round of a cup and take out someone from a level above. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, little wins like that are personal wins that just makes you think that you can do it, you can achieve it. Um, if you can beat a team from a league above, you go into it as underdogs and, um, you know, it's... it's um, it's one of those ones that could make or break your season and make you sort of push on. And yeah. we know they had a good game against um, Haybridge in the FA Cup, so uh, we've seen a good video on them and uh, we think we can upset them at least. Well, here's hoping that on Tuesday, Cox will get a positive result and we can able to move things forward again. Yes, um, we hope that everyone comes along and watches again because the support today was tremendous albeit a lot of the hashtag fans, but um, it's hashtag fans who are living in Coggeshall. Hopefully they're going to now remember the Coggeshall uh, players and become Coggeshall fans as well. So and that would be a big cost. That would be a massive cost. Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's giving the community a day out today and, uh, and a hell of a day out. It enjoyed a great game of football regardless of the result. It was a good game. And um, the, the drinks are flowing, lots of smiles. Everybody's happy, and uh, hopefully it's exactly the same atmosphere on Tuesday when uh, we play at West Essex. And hopefully the manager will be happier as the day goes on. Because <laughs> I have to say, we did see you earlier on. You didn't look very happy at all earlier on during the course of the match when things were going a bit wrong. Yeah, um, you know, I've, I've got a, a lot of new players in this team, and it was getting to know me. Yeah. And win, lose, or draw. We don't behave like uh, spot little children if we lose a game. We, 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 you know, we, we like to show a bit of respect yeah. and, and go and shake hands and, and just do all the necessities because you see it all too much in football where everyone's bitter and you know, the game gets all out of hand and, and, and hashtag boys are banging on the dressing rooms and really over celebrating. But you know, they won, they deserve to do that and, and when we play them the next time, we get the right to do it if we win. So, you know, we've, we've won the games at um, Benfield. Uh, you know, it's not our style, and I don't really want it to be our style. No. Well, it's been a great day. Unfortunately, the result. I'm looking forward to West Essex. Cliff, thank you very much. Thank you.